16 June 2020, and I'm joined by Mr. Albert Matapo from the Zimbabwe People Power Movement. How are you, sir? I'm fine, I'm fine. Thank you very much. How about you? Very well. Today we want to quickly look at the situation that has developed in Zimbabwe today. Many people were turned back when they were trying to go into town. Do you have any information on what is going on? Well, uh, yes, I understand that uh, the, there is a situation that is going on in, in Blaue, that uh, the people there have been uh, turned, turned home. And I understand uh, something is developing. Um, I'm reliably informed that uh, the, the uh, Coupe group are on their way to Blaue possibly to occupy the offices that belong to them um, in Blaue, which, well, which they say they uh, belong to them. Uh, whether it's, it's, it's the right way or it's not the right way, I'm not sure, but I think uh, uh, this is what is going to happen. Then secondly, of course, the other issue, very important issue is that, as you can see, the situation in our country is very bad. And so there is a, a soldiers were getting a, a backdated salary for over for, for the past four months. And this backdated salary is now, the, that backdated salary was divided into four months. But then the, 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 this is the, the fourth month and they are no longer going to get it. And because of that, soldiers are a bit agitated. They feel that their salaries have been reduced. So that situation is a bit, tense at the moment, uh, the, there is need for that situation to be contained. Okay, so Zimbabwe is currently under lockdown level two. What, what kind of legal framework are the military using to turn people back when there's no longer a, an elevated lockdown level? Yeah, I feel I feel that uh, the situation is not going on very well because it looks like it's more of a state of emergence, more than just a, a situation where they are trying to control the COVID. So it is no, no longer where uh, the, the, the regime is trying to control the COVID situation, but more to do with security and and why they are doing that kind of thing is something else. It's yet to be known why they are being afraid like that. But I think um, uh, the, the, that situation itself needs people to get together, to come together and be united as soon as is possible and come up with a, a lasting solution. Because what is happening is beyond the COVID the situation. Uh, the military seems to be in control now of the nation and which is not uh, the right way. So I think there is something going on which is quite serious in terms of security and there is need for people to come to terms, to be normal, to come to their normal senses so that we, 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 we start doing something better for our nation. Otherwise, we'll deteriorate, this situation will deteriorate very soon and we go to situations that we see in other countries like Libya, like Iraq, like other places. So we need to arrest that, that situation as soon as it's possible. Right, Mr. Albert Matapo, I think today we're, we're gonna keep it very, very short. You have said that something very serious is happening in Zimbabwe, although there are other issues surrounding people being turned away today, but something serious is going on. Is there anything else that you want to say before we close? Uh, no, that's very little that, uh, you see, I, I have a feeling that as Zimbabweans and as educated Zimbabweans are and as highly understanding Zimbabweans are, why can't we do something that is unique, that has never been seen in the whole world and we turn our country at once? This can only happen if those in power today, those who have been in power for a very long time, decide or choose the right path. And the right path is simply to say those who are able, 
or those who with credibility, those who are known to have credibility and say, guys, why can't you take the nation forward? And then we come up with something that is unique. People get protected because if you look at John 8, verse 7, it says, let him who is without sin cast the first stone. It is possible to forgive one another, those who might have committed whatever crimes. But if they come out honorably and say, look, guys, let us build our nation. And we are handing over power to a certain section of the community. Like Zimbabwe People Power Movement has set up a national transitional authority which can take the nation forward. We can do it and do protect everybody. Everybody gets protected. It becomes a win-win situation. The public has won. Those who have been in power have won. Everyone has won. We move forward. We have investors at our backs who want to come and invest and turn our country into something else. I hope you will give me opportunity to talk about our economy very soon. Thank you very much, Mr. Thank you very much, Mr. Matapo. We'll talk again very, very soon. Thank you.